Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Funtime Crafts 24 7. I have a little project share here for you. I made this uh, a super fun card here uh, using um, my new rainbow, I think it's rainbow to stamp set. It's on the other table. Uh, but before I tell you how I made this, well, put it together, I wanted to show you how I cut this out and how you get, how I was able to get all the pieces really straight and whatnot uh, using. Not using the Kiss Cut pad, but using a rubber silicone mat. And um, I have the Kiss Cut pad, and it works really well in my Big Shot, but not in my Big Shot Plus. And I've been using this a lot more because I don't want to have to cut down um, paper. This, you can stick an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper in it, and it does just fine. And um, you don't have to worry about cutting it down or anything. So, uh so to get on with this, what you need to do is you need to take your regular uh, platform out um, because you're not going to use your normal sandwich. What you're going to do is only use your base plate uh, like so. So the brown, the brown plate in your Sizzix machine, this is what I do. And then you're going to put your cutting plate back on. And then what you're going to do is, I'm going to show you on the little bunny die here. Um... Then what you're going to do is you're going to put your, let's see, you're going to put your intricate die up. And I, I put the, you're going to put your dice, the blade side up. And what I do is I actually put my, um, the, um, base die around it also. So that way, um, so you're going to go both dies, intricate and base die you're going to put your cardstock on top of that and if you don't want it to shift you want to make sure it doesn't shift turn these over and tape them because um, that's what I do too but I was kind of hoping it would you know it's being a little feisty on camera so let's just for peace of mind tape them together don't have to worry about it put your piece on there so then you're going to blade up cardstock next and then you're going to put your um let's see silicone rubber mat on top of that and what it is is it looks like this for your see silicone rubber uh mat and it's just a little it literally is just a rubber piece of mat and then you're going to put your top plate on and then you're going to run it through your machine and just like the Kiss Cut pad, it doesn't feel like it's doing anything, but it's actually embossing the die into the cardstock. And so what you end up with is this. Isn't that great? And it's all sturdy all together. And then what you do after that is you take your base die, your intric you take your intricate layer off, put your base die back on, and then it lines back up with the little cut, the cut line. Let's see, where are we at here? Right there. See? Yeah, because you can feel the groove. And then it cuts exactly where you originally had it. And if you want it to stay, just tape that down as well. And then run it back through your machine. And I guess I'll show you that too. Uh, but I, let me switch this back over. And uh, I have to do this different because normally you just take a shim off. But I have the magnetic... Um, base plate on so you have to swap the whole thing out so then there we go and voila uh, you just proceed with cutting it uh, cutting out your layering pieces and uh, that makes it so much easier to be able to put these intricate um, fold it together and makes it really nice. So that's what I did with for the rainbow too. Um, I did that, and so now what I so then after that what I did was I took a piece of cardstock and I ran it through my sticker maker on both sides so that way it had sticky on both sides, and then I used the intricate die for the rainbow and I cut it out. So let's go over to that side uh, so I can show you. Don't be dizzy. Don't be dizzy. Here you go. Um, there we go. So let's see. So this here. So this is the set I'm actually talking about. 
Uh, this is the Rainbow to Stamp. Oh, this is actually the dies for the Rainbow to Stamp set. And it goes with this stamp set here. And so then I took the intricate piece and I cut it out of that um, double-sided adhesive. Uh, the one I put the adhesive on both sides. And uh, so then what I did was I took glitter on each of the pieces and I... Um, took the, you know, peeled the backer off and then on the sticky on the top of it, I added the glitter on it, um, you know, just poured it on and then used another piece of paper, put it on top, burnished it into the adhesive and then tapped it off. And then I, because I did, I ran it with the embossing mat, that silicone rubber mat, I knew exactly where to put my little pieces at. And so this here, the little clouds have... Uh, unicorn confetti, Simon Says Stamp Unicorn Confetti. Um, and then I just used a conglomeration of Nouveau glitters I have in my stash. Um, purples, pinks, greens, blues. And then the only color I didn't have was yellow. And I happened to buy a, at the dollar store, they had these whole rows of different colors of golds and silvers. And I thought that would be great for a yellow. So I just used a gold. And, um... So that's, that's how I ended up doing that. Well, then after I got it all together, you know, glitter, glitter goes everywhere. No matter how much you burnish it in and everything, it's always falling off. So I thought, how in the world could I get that not to make a mess everywhere? And so I have these glossy, they're Xyron glossy laminate sheets, and they look like this. So they have this layer this really fun layer and what you do is I what I did was after I got it all glued together I stuck it in here put this back over the top of it burnished it down really good onto the top of the glitter layer and then I used the um, big layering die and I cut it out and how cool is that so it doesn't come off it's nice it looks like a giant glitter puppy sticker is actually what it looks like. And it's super fun. doesn't make a mess. And it's got an even better element. It's actually shiny. So it's really cool. So to get the background, I used my uh, cloud stencil or cloud mat. And used Stamps of Life uh, Sky Ink. Made the background there. That's a four by five and a quarter. Uh, then in one of the little sentiment sets... Um, for the rainbow, there's the hello word. And then this is the sayings for rainbows set. I versifying, uh, onyx black inked it, clear embossed it. And then I went over it with my, uh, Wink Estella, uh, shimmer pen. And, uh, I think that matted it on black, popped it up on some dimensionals. And then I had some Studio Katia, uh, little... Oh, uh, iridescent bubble mix and, uh, it comes in a bunch of different sizes. And so, uh, added a few of those around and I think this just came out super fun. And, uh, I think it's a very cheery card that somebody would love to get. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below and hope you guys are having a great week. We'll catch up again with you really soon. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.